Hey there guys. Today we will enable 120 FPS with Ultra HDR graphics in PUBG Mobile Game Loop Emulator. First of all, we need to enable 120 FPS. Let's jump straight into it. First, open your Game Loop Emulator and go into Game Loop Settings. Then, copy all of my settings. You can test DirectX and OpenGL and select whichever works better for you. In my case, DirectX works fine for me. Enable the first four options. Select Ultra at anti-aliasing option. Leave processor and memory at auto. Select your resolution and 480 DPI. Now comes the main step. Select Customize in the top bar. Now write Samsung in the first bar and SMX910 in the second bar. Make sure to write everything in capital letters. Now go in the Game tab. Select HD 1080p in Game Definition, HD in Graphics Quality, and 90 in FPS. Now quit Game Loop from the bar in the right bottom. Make sure to close any file linked with Game Loop from Taskbar as well especially a Chinese named file. Now right click on Game Loop and click Open File Location. Click on TX Game Assistant on the top, then open the UI folder. Now search for a file named Android Emulator EN. Once found, send it to Desktop to create a shortcut. Rename the file to PUBG if you want. Now right click on the file and open Properties this is a very crucial step, so follow it correctly. At the end in the target bar, give space and write dash vm space 100 space. Now save the file. Now open game loop from the new shortcut we just created and renamed. And make sure to open game loop from this shortcut now whenever you want to play PUBG. Once game loop is opened, Press F9 key on your keyboard. It will enable the hidden browser option. And don't worry, it is just a one-time setup. From the next time onwards, you will just launch Game Loop and play PUBG. Open the browser and search for FX File Explorer. Scroll down a bit and download the APK from APK Pure. Once downloaded, install the APK file. Open the FX File Explorer and open the main storage path. Then, open Android, Data, Com, TTY, Files, UE4 Game, Shadow Tracker Extra, Shadow Tracker Extra, again, saved, and then save games. You will see a active.sav game file here. Press and hold right click on this file. Make sure you hold right click. Then press cut from the top right and move back to the home path. Now open the system path, then data folder, Scroll down and find Share One folder and paste the active.sav file here. Make sure to not close this Game Loop tab yet. Open File Explorer on your desktop and open the drive in which you download a Game Loop. I downloaded it in F Drive. Once in the drive, search for a folder named Temp. Open Temp, then TX Game Download, Mobile Game PC Shared. Here you will see a file named active.sav. Send it to desktop to create a shortcut. We will edit this file. Open the path where you send the shortcut file to. I sent it to documents folder, as you can see. Now open your browser and search for save editor and open the first link. Upload the active.save file here and make the following changes. 
Find FPS level and change its value to 8. Next, find Battle FPS and change its value to 8 as well. Then, Battle Render Style at 2 and Battle Render Quality at 5. Follow the same for Lobby FPS, Lobby Render Quality, and Lobby Render Style. Once done, scroll down and download the file. Locate the file you just downloaded. Copy the file. Now open the temp folder, which we opened recently in the drive, where GameWoop is downloaded, and follow the steps. Paste the active.sav file here, and press replace. Now open the game loop tab again, which we kept open, and press home tab. Now go into system path, data folder, scroll down and open share one folder again. Here you will find the active.sav file. Press and hold right click on the active.sav file and press cut from the top. Press home tab again. Now open main storage path, then Android folder, data folder, com.take folder, files, UE4 game folder, shadow tracker extra folder twice, then saved folder, and scroll down to find the save games folder here. Paste the active.sav file here. Now we are done with the one-time setup. You don't need to do it again. Press back, option, and then launch PUBG Mobile. Press cancel when it gives a prompt. Open the Settings tab to confirm if UHD is enabled. Ultra HDR is enabled successfully in lobby and combat both, along with 120 FPS. You can monitor the FPS using Game Loop Tool or MSI Burner. Make sure that you don't change any of the settings in the Graphics tab except the Brightness option, or else you will have to do all the steps again. Let's test the FPS in combat mode and give you a proof as well. Keep an eye on the FPS in top left and the graphics quality in the bottom left as well. I hope I helped you in enabling 120 FPS with Ultra HDR graphics successfully in PUBG Mobile. If you followed all the steps correctly, you would have achieved 120 FPS with UHD. If you don't get the UHD with 120 FPS settings, make sure to follow the video again, and if still it doesn't work, comment down below and I will help. Moreover, I am planning to make a video on the best custom resolution for PUBG Mobile along with the control settings. Make sure to comment down below if you guys want me to make that video. Enjoy!